like I missed the party. I'm Danielle and this is News for Blondes. Last week at this time, New York was poised to become the next state to affirm marriage equality. And we did it! In one fell swoop, New York State single-handedly more than doubled the number of same-sex couples who can now get married. While this is an important milestone, there is still work to be done. New York is only one of 10 states to recognize marriage equality. With 20% of states affirming same-sex marriage, that leaves a lot of people who cannot visit their loved one in a hospital, who cannot designate their partner as the next of kin, and who cannot introduce their partner with the same confidence as someone who can say, this is my wife, or my husband. There's a bigger issue to tackle here, and I think it's time we figure out how to take action. While many people are working tirelessly on the civil rights side of this issue, we also have a cultural issue. The buzzword used to be tolerance, as if that was the answer. Really? Tolerance? That's like when you plug your nose as you slurp down some cherry cough syrup. Or in the case of pain tolerance, it implies that there is a limit, a threshold, that we ultimately will reach a maximum capacity before we reach our breaking point. Tolerance is something that people do for those people in some other place. It keeps us distanced from each other. But too often in our culture, families and close friends can be the most hostile toward a loved one who's acknowledged their homosexuality. We need what Thomas Kuhn calls in the structure of scientific revolutions, a paradigm shift. Yep, I'm not gonna lie, this blondie's a bookworm. We need a paradigm shift in our culture and language that moves beyond tolerance and toward love and acceptance. What's the difference? Tolerance is an action. Acceptance is a state of mind. Acceptance is respect. Acceptance is my new buzzword. While a law may mandate tolerance, as individuals we have the awesome ability to choose acceptance. Imagine that, a world of people choosing respect. I wish I had the magic powers to make this change. Blonde powers, activate! Anything? Well, I'd still like to figure out how we can work together to inspire change. Come to our Facebook page and we can start talking about ways that we can impact our culture. New York's marriage equality is a big milestone and it's not the end of the road. I'm Danielle, this is News for Blondes and you're watching Tango Dango.